We begin tonight with the frontline health care heroes who were met with nationwide protests at hospitals, the very sites where they have been helping to save lives during this pandemic. Hundreds of people demonstrating against COVID protocols such as vaccinations showed up across the country today. In some cases, patients needing life-saving treatment could only enter under police escort. One doctor posted this sign out of frustration, only to be told later to take it down. This as nearly 4,000 new infections and 40 more deaths were reported across the country. CTV's medical specialist Avis Favaro starts us off. Across the country, those against pandemic protocols lined up to voice their opposition. It is extremely, extremely unfair. Some who say they're being forced to choose between a jab or their job. Never in the history of this country has this kind of behavior been pushed upon its citizens, and it is wrong. An organization calling itself the Canadian Frontline Nurses held what it called silent vigils in front of legislatures, city halls, and most pointedly hospitals. People have come here to be healed, not to be harassed. This 87-year-old and her daughter needed a police escort to get through the crowd for treatment. The doctors are tired. The nurses are tired. Everybody's tired of taking care of people. Health workers say these demonstrations only add to their fatigue and distress. Stay away from patients. Stay away from healthcare workers. Leave us alone and leave our patients alone. I don't have a problem with it. There are, nobody's harassing anyone. Despite boosted security and fencing, the gatherings were relatively peaceful, but frontline workers say it's part of a campaign of harassment against them. Wearing that self-identify us as healthcare workers, it used to be a source of pride, and now it's a source of fear. It's the wrong outlet for this frustration, says this bioethicist. Clearly, there are people who feel like they're not being heard and feel like this is perhaps their only recourse to make their voices heard. And so are there other appropriate venues that we could be thinking about to make sure that people don't feel disenfranchised? Meanwhile, inside many hospitals are a growing number of COVID patients. Vaccinations may be a personal choice, but doctors say going without has serious consequences. In our entire hospital, about 90% of all the new admissions um, with COVID are unvaccinated. Had they been just gotten the vaccine, they, they wouldn't be in the ICU. They probably wouldn't be in the hospital. Um, and they wouldn't be on death's door. But despite the warnings, Protesters say their demonstrations will likely continue as more vaccine mandates go into effect in parts of the country. Omar? All right, Avis Favreau in Toronto tonight.